It finally has happened. It's raining. If I fall through, don't follow me. Okay, stay there, stay there. I'm coming because I don't want to stop. It's so scary going down because it feels so out of control. Hey there, I'm Kelsey, that's Tim, and this is the story of our adventure. Life is fleeting, and we want to squeeze every bit out of it. We are wandering the world, so home is a bit of a moving target for us. We love finding the random, the remote, and sharing it all with you. So subscribe to get lost with us and hopefully find some inspiration to go after your own dreams. Welcome back to beautiful Vietnam. If you're just joining us in this series, we rented dirt bikes in Hanoi, where the traffic was crazy. Then we headed north into the rural mountains. We hope to get off the beaten path, and we have had a blast so far. Get ready for a little mud. It's so weird when you look over and you're like, oh, houses, oh, that's shiny. We have also been very lucky with the weather, with very little rain and even a few beautiful sunny days. But today, that luck was coming to an end. Well, guys, good morning. It finally has happened. It's raining. I'm surprised it hasn't happened earlier, but uh, yeah, it's raining quite good this morning. And both Tim and I are feeling like <clears throat> you can hear it in our voices, yeah. but the smoke and the pollution, I think, is getting to both of us. We're we're gonna say that, and not that we're getting sick, because I don't know. I don't feel sick otherwise. I don't feel sick otherwise. But both yeah. of our throats and our whole nasal passages are just like raw, yeah, and angry. So yeah. they're just not used to it, I think. Yeah. And it's dumping rain. Yeah. So at some point, we're just gonna have to go out into it, but we'll see. We'll see what we decide. Right now, we're gonna go eat some breakfast. Yes, coffee. We sat and enjoyed our breakfast with our host. It is so cool to be able to stay in homes like this, to sit with people at their kitchen tables and see what life is like. Our host even spoke decent English, which was fun. We always learn so much from a local. So we sat sipping our coffee and chatting while we waited and crossed our fingers that the rain would let up, at least a little. Eventually. Good morning to rainy Vietnam. Yeah, very rainy last night and this morning. It let up just enough that we could load up the bikes and try. So that's what yes. we're doing. We're trying, and uh, we had a great stay last night. Uh, Hoi Trung's house. I'm probably butchering your name, buddy. I'm sorry. Um, as as we have been with with hello, it's, goodbye, thank you, yeah, all that. So I'm hard. sure. It's, yeah. But as usual, if you try, people smile, and uh, I'll sometimes ask them to say the word I just said correctly, and then I'll hear it right then and go, "Ooh, yeah, no, I've been yeah, I've been a little off on that." Yeah. You know? Yeah. Cows are on. Baby, oh, he's so cute. Little baby water goo below. Hi, buddy. Wouldn't want to run into one of these. Yeah, sure. they're hefty. Oh, they are lumber. They're beautiful like at lumber. Every town, it seems like, has something different that they're making or growing or working yep. on. Yep. Kind of neat. But it was awesome. It was just so fun to talk with them. And it was cool. He's talking about this one region. There are seven languages spoken, completely different. I'm sure there's some relation between them, but he was saying the people on this mountain, they can't talk to the people on that mountain. They, 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 it's not similar enough to even converse with their neighboring town. It's mind blowing to me, you know? It is wild, It's like yeah. a, a real life example, you know, of when we think of the Western US and these sky islands, right? That would isolate populations of people or animals or whatever. Um, due to weather and distance and climate. And then here you have a, a area where there's all these different populations with their own language, their own cultures, their own dress. Yeah. So cool. Oh, going in the puddle. <laughs> why, are you, why are you going through all the puddles? What are you doing? You're hitting each one square, right in the middle. <laughs> oh, so cool. These markets are amazing. They seem to be selling anything and everything. The sounds, the smells, there's so much to try and take in, while also trying not to run into anyone. And I love that even a seemingly middle of nowhere little town like this is bustling with activity on market day. Big truck. Go, go, go.
that truck got so close it was crazy like my back tire where i was sitting like i pulled up as much as i could to where i was basically touching the guy in purple and then the truck was coming along and i went wait a minute the way it's the way it's going the rear tires are going to be um they're going to like come further towards me than the front and then i had to roll and put my front tire on the edge of the aqueduct thingy and then i was okay and i was like that's just so gnarly that that's just a million times a day and if, if his tires hit mine it would throw me to the ground and the bike to the ground it might run the tire over I, I probably would be fine but like that would suck it could it could uh at the least break the bike you know it's very slippery very stressful single lane shooting the gap whoa pig pig look at the pig 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 i didn't know what to say i was just like there's a Pig. Oh, like metal cage was specifically built for pigs. Oh, they're going up that way, huh? That's pretty good. I love how casual they are, too. Like, yeah, there's my wife on the back of going two miles an hour. I'm going to go up this. What? Yeah. Is that plan cool? Look at that waterfall, that is so awesome. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Hello. Xin chào. The loads on these scooters never cease to amaze me. Okay. Didn't go by here. Yep, easy peasy. Wow. He's off in the ditch there. Cut, cut. Wow. Wow, that's so high up there. Wow, that is beautiful. I mean, to me, this does look like South America. It looks like the Amazon, you know? How cool is this? Ready? I think so. Okay. If I fall through, don't follow me. I've got to get some new boards in here, so you know. I know I'm probably the fattest person to go across this in quite a while, so if I make it, you should be good. See how packed in or not packed in stuff is. Right now it's still nice and sandy, which is cool. Nice. Got a little chickens. And we're killed. No, guys, stay over there. Why do you go right in front of me? No chickens will harm today. very glad it's all uphill right now because that makes it a lot less intimidating. Oh, this is so cool. This is a rad. Can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe we are. This road was very narrow and steep with super tight turns. And I can't lie, I was pretty intimidated. But the beauty and the fact that I was getting to go along a road like this definitely overrode the fear. Plus, it actually had decent grip. As long as I could manage the steep, tight turns, I was okay.
that hillside. So cool. Seems fake. Yeah. Why, why, chickens, why? Why do you pick me? Get out of the way! Get out of the way! He's like, run flying in front of me now. Eventually, our nice paved little track turned to dirt, and I quickly became aware of just how slippery it was, especially if you got off the burned-in little track. I almost did it, but I saved it. Between the mud and my riding skill, I was struggling to stay on the line. Plus, now the washouts were getting pretty large, which I was just trying not to think about or focus on. Yep. Okay, stay there, stay there. Stay down there. I'm coming because I don't want to stop. And we're rolling. And we'll pull into the grass here for a little break. Yeah, baby. Nice work. Thank you. Uh, what What do you think? Um, I'm a little afraid to go back down that, frankly. So we have 11 kilometers to be up at the peak. Oh, here someone comes, just ripping up it. Two up. Sin Chow. Oh. You like what? Big deal, guy. That guy's going down with a log. Yeah, let's go. Okay. I feel like a limb. <laughs> right? You haven't needed encouragement. There you go. Alright. Uh, Literally, I mean, you know, further up than you are right now. After seeing all the little bikes go past, I figured I could manage. I mean, how bad could it be? So I crossed my fingers things would level out soon and that the worst was behind us. And with Tim's coaching, I continued up this slippery slope, trying. To control my nerves. It was really hard not to focus on those rain ruts. They were deep, and I really didn't want to end up in one. The other nice part is we have suspension and they don't, so like... I also don't have a giant log on the back of me. I don't know how that guy did well, that, it. Yeah, that's true. But lack of a log really does help quite a bit. So my rear tire spun a little, so I just let off the throttle and almost killed it. And then it grabbed again, so... Oop, I'm in a bad spot now. Yeah, okay. Do you need help? Um... Nope. I'm gonna stop but I, I wanted to stop at a spot where it's gonna be easy to get going again. Yeah, I'm gonna be in a bad spot to start, but we're gonna try. Okay. Sorry. Well, I found myself in a bad spot to try and get going, and I eventually ended up being eaten by the rain rut. It was so steep. Also, how come every time I fall, there's someone there watching me, even on a remote mountain? <laughs> but really, everyone is so nice, they immediately jump to help the sad tourist lady who's rolling down the road in the muddy rain rut. Come on. Yes. Yeah? Once you're in a bad spot, it is really hard to get going. Not only was it steep, but the clay was super slick. Well, I didn't make it very far. Tim had been listening to me struggle over our cardos and headed down to help. <laughs> Sorry. Broke the mirror. We let the nice local guy go on his way, 
and Tim rode my bike up the hill a bit to where we could take a break and decide what to do. What do you think, Beba? I don't know. A few kilometers. It just sucks that it's so far. Yeah, it's 11. Babe, it's, it's one of those things. It just takes time. You're so much better than you were. You're getting better all the time. That's what I'm saying. What, do you want to go up around this corner? Or you want to call right here? Three, I'm pushing you to go. I'm saying, I'm encouraging you to go. 11, I'm saying, babe, I mean, if this were dry, it'd be challenging for you. If it were dry, it'd be okay for me, but I, I could hurt the bike. If it's wet, it's really challenging for you. And if it's wet, it's still challenging for me. I'm, I'm concentrating and stuff, so. It's probably an okay spot to turn around, actually. I think it is. Yeah, let's do this. And then what I'm mainly concerned with, going down, is just avoiding big stuff like that. I've gotten bikes in stuff like that before and out, so it's not, you know, the, even that's not the end of anything. It's just a lot, a lot, a lot more fun if we can avoid Stuff like that. Okay. Nothing, I'm just exhausted. Okay. And then this is slippery, so I'm just gonna kinda see what happens here. And then you can get to a stop there and just walk over to this, okay? I'm not using any brakes because brakes will make my tires slide. So I, when it's... Well, we made it about halfway back down, and after basically slipping my way down the mountain, I was feeling pretty overwhelmed and out of control. I needed a minute to gather myself, and what better way to do that than plop down in the mud? Also, a quick thanks to Tim for being so patient and understanding. He is always there to encourage me during the rough moments like this. I couldn't ask for a better teammate. Challenging, I know. You're doing good, babe. It's so scary going down because it feels so out of control. Like, I'm yeah. slipping and I can't take my foot off the brake and then it feels like I'm braking too much and then I don't want to go because I'll like go off the edge of a cliff and it's really... Well, <clears throat> this one got a bit intense for my skill level. It's muddy and like really hard to stay on the track. And we're not very close to the top. We have 11 kilometers to go. We don't know if it's going to get better or worse or stay about the same, which is very tough for me to keep going. So we decided to turn around. And turning around is also very intimidating to come down what we have come up. So I'm gathering myself before we go <laughs> further down. Uh, cause that's, that was a pretty intense, like 45 minutes for me. So if it wasn't raining, I think it would be better, but it's wet and very slippery. Walking up the hill is hard at this point. So yeah, unfortunately I'm making this turn around. Tim patiently coached me down the rest of the mud mountain. There you go. Just keep dragging that rear brake. That was beautiful. Okay. Beautiful, Ben. Foot back up, foot back up. There you go. See how you abandoned it for a second and then right where you were at, it, I think here, if you hit just the front, you would have had a zero speed, zero speed roll. You know, if you want to bring it up, great. But then be ready to put it back down. So I'm just rolling. That was the only spot right there. I didn't want to use too much brake because I didn't want to slide. Now I'm braking hard on both and just kind of cruising. I'm going to take this left line, but you should stay on the main one. I'm doing this in case I need to walk back up. Good brake control, Ben. You okay? Yeah, I'm going to do a shot. I bet. All right. All right, let's just put pet, okay? Yep. Yeah. 
It was still a bit of a slog, but we could only hope that we are heading towards better roads. Sin Chow. Big pig. Hey there, big piggy. Oh, little baby chicks. Don't kill them, okay? Nothing will satisfy your blood loss. Keeping my legs up for now, but I'm assuming I'll need them as outriggers. I was very happy to see some pavement after hours and hours of mud. How's it going? A little muddy. A little bit muddy, but bikes did great. This is what always happens to when I had an XR being air cooled. The whole thing is like a becomes pottery. Yeah. Uh, because there's so much heat being dispersed from the fins on the engine, and then the header, of course. It's like a, a permanent coat of mud, so ceramic coated headers. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're stopping to have a little snack. That was the most intense ride I've ever done. That was so much mud and the GoPros died, but after doing the big hill and coming down, then it was road construction like the whole way. Yeah. And it was just slip, slippery, slick. And you could tell everyone mud. knew that it was under road construction. We only saw like three scooters the whole time. Yeah. And, you know, once your tire digs in, it was, you know, fresh, freshly sort of like excavated dirt. It was so, so hard. So you just dropped in it. And, like, oh. and then it would go to pavement for like 200 yards and you'd go, yeah, all right, we made it. Yeah. And, and then, then there's boom, back into it. the big construction trucks and yeah. like the loaders and diggers yeah. and it's just yeah, like, like as you're padding, passing an excavator, the bucket starts swinging. Yeah, you're like, you. oh, me, me, me. like, please don't kill me. <laughs> that was, that was fun. That was exciting. That was an adventure, that's for sure. That was a real adventure. It felt great. I am exhausted and already. For you, yeah, definitely. For you too, it's neat to. I mean, definitely gain some new skills. I think. Yeah. In mud. Yeah, I've never ridden in mud, mud, but I've ridden in a lot but of even it now. Just ascending hills. Yeah. Right. That that want to. To kind of cruise down it, have both your feet as outriggers, steers you wrong in not having that rear brake. Yeah. You know, on tap, and as soon as you committed to the rear brake, you're just riding everything perfectly. Yeah. So helps that it rained today too it's a little easier to breathe i think it you know killed a lot of the smoke in the air but yeah we'll be back on the road after we finish our sugar yep a little sugar hit calorie hit and then um we're gonna try and make it to a, a homestay and we'll see if they have any room and if not at least the good news is there's several several around it but yeah it's kind of trippy never planning where you're gonna be that yeah, night like but at the same time i'm glad because we've Works come to out. some places and gone man i've I'm yeah. just keep riding. I, I, yeah. I don't want to stay there. That doesn't look well cared for, or well loved. I'm not looking for fanciness, but just, you know, you can tell when one's like, oh, this person's Clean. taking pride in it, yeah. and it could still be a grass hut, and yeah. it's awesome. Totally. I'll show you the bikes. Kind of nice. The wet stuff now is a little bit more sandy. So it's not quite as, I mean, it's still slick, of course, but it's not what we were in uh, up on the mountain. This is definitely a higher sand content, which I like. I could deal with this a lot better. It's not, uh, it's not. Unfortunately, our drive was not as mud-free as I had hoped. I knew you hadn't quite had enough mud. I went ahead and had them put this here for you. Just to make sure, you know? Slow down, it goes to mud again.
Oh, he's just cruising through these puddles. Man. I did your face onto one and was like, whoa, a lot of six and a half kilometers to at least one homestay we're going to try and hope that it works out. So cool. Way to go here, bro. After another what seemed to my shot nerves, a very steep, very narrow road, where a water buffalo almost hit me, we had arrived to where we hoped we could spend the night. And then I'm going under an archway. I'm going to ride up. I don't know if I'm supposed to or not, but I'm going to do it. Yep, looks like I'm supposed to. I still know where the entrance is, you know, or anything like that. Kind of up here. Looks almost closed, huh? All right. It was a really long day, yeah. but we made it to our homestay, and we're <coughs> just waiting for them to make the bed and stuff in the room. And it's raining again, and somehow still smoky, but. <laughs> <laughs> but it's beautiful, it and beautiful. honestly, considering how the day went for a little while in the mud. Oh, it was rough for a while. You know, we're warm. Yeah. Not very wet, really. Shockingly, we're not that wet. Yeah. And we found a nice homestay, so. I'm excited to lay down in bed tonight, yes. for sure. Yes. Whew, we made it. <laughs> we were done for the day. And what a day it had been. My nerves were shot. We were both exhausted and happy to be done for the night. Before Vietnam, I had never ridden in the mud. And after today, I was feeling pretty confident in the mud although I can't say I'm a fan. I was very proud of myself. Again, a huge thanks to Tim for always being there to encourage and help me through all the tough stuff. Our riding abilities are at the opposite ends of the spectrum, so it would be easy for him to get frustrated and not comprehend how intimidating this was. But instead, he is always understanding and kind. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed coming along for this muddy, muddy adventure. If you did, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. We will see you next time as, well, conditions continue to deteriorate. I get to practice my mud skills some more, and, well, let's just say things get exciting. We'll see you then. Wow. That is amazing. Was that good? That's that really amazing. Is that unbelievable?